to ask you what you thought was the ultimate racetrack in the world, then the chances are the answer would be here, the Nürburgring Nordschleife. At nearly 13 miles long and with 154 corners, it certainly deserves the nickname Green Hell. This is, after all, the circuit where car companies come to test their latest supercars and compare their lap times. The track itself is made up primarily of high and medium speed corners, which in this Lexus means cornering speeds often in excess of 120 miles an hour. The track surface, as you can see here, is somewhat bumpy and doesn't help matters. And while in places the runoff area is quite large, such as this corner, in others there is very little and you can often find yourself very easily in the wall. Yes, race around here and inevitably there will be crashes. And to complicate matters even further, a lot of the scenery does look fairly similar as it's just mostly trees and it means that this can be quite a hard track to learn. For those of you who think that Nürburgring isn't your type of track, there's always this, Fujimi Kaido. With over 100 turns and a summit of 2,800 feet, this is not a slouch of a track. It is also one of the most dangerous tracks you could ever drive on, as there's absolutely no runoff area and if you hit the wall, you either get end up dead or in a very expensive car crash. However, it is for this price to pay for the dangerous for the dangerous tracks and dangerous corners. This has one of the nicest sceneries of any other track in the world. And for those of you who don't like Fujimi, there's always this Rally di Postinato. This is also a very tight track, as Fujimi is. However, even though Nürburgring has lots of high-speed corners and Fujimi has some high-speed corners, I was talking to the Stig earlier on and he said he only got above 120 miles an hour once. But driving this track makes up if you don't like Nürburgring, if you don't like Fujimi, this track is your only other option for having an incredible amount of fun. It is extremely dangerous as well as Fujimi and Nürburgring. With no runoff areas at all, it can still kill you quite easily. be wondering why when we're discussing the ultimate racetracks in Forza, the 1.8 mile New York circuit is featured. It's certainly not the most impressive or the most technical of the tracks we have here. And while this Lexus is a very good car, don't get me wrong, it simply doesn't have the downforce to really do this track justice. On the other hand, this DTM car does, as you come out to the first corner, you're doing nearly 160 miles an hour in between three walls. The next bit is a double apex corner, which you have to slow your car down from that 160 to about 50 miles an hour, all in a short space of time. We have another fast chicane here, it's fairly easy as you accelerate it, and there's plenty of room, although easy to clip if you get it wrong. Next, the hardest chicane on the track, you sort of approach it fairly fast, but have to just slow it down and keep a nice line through it. Up to what looks like an easy left hand, but isn't, as you have to turn in and kind of aim for an apex you can't really see. But the easiest of the corner is this sort of roundabout, it's a long left hand, it's just got to not be too eager on the throttle, those powerful cars can get away from you. And onto the final straight, and there's one more chicane, this one's an easy flat out through. Be careful not to clip the walls on the inside, which is easily done. The challenge of New York really is the speed. While Nürburgring does have fast corners, the fastest ones are often surrounded by gravel or grass runoff areas. In New York, there really is no room for error. One mistake, one slight lapse of concentration, and you're in the wall. And the speeds that you're travelling through some of the chicanes are huge so you're going to hit the wall hard. Overtaking can also be pretty tricky, with the second corner being the only real opportunity. 
unless you're either incredibly brave or incredibly stupid. You'll learn the track fast, there really isn't a huge amount to it, but trying to master the chicane is a huge challenge, and one that will certainly take you considerable time and many crashes. New York is a challenge, one in my opinion that isn't rivalled by any other track, and it's such a shame that it was dropped from Forza 4. Ironically, it was the only track, along with Rally de Posianto, that were dropped, two which feature here. Forza Motorsport 4 needs street circuits. For Jimmy and Nürburgring are good, but there's nothing like the challenge of weaving a DTM car through a chicane at nearly 160 miles an hour. <laughs> 